from the top of a mountain to the bottom, a conversation consisting only of whistles. On La Gomera in the Canary Islands, the locals are celebrating their culture by demonstrating their special language called Silbo Gomero to a crowd. Goat herders are guided by their whistles. As Eugenio Darius clambers down the mountainside, two students in tow, he knows this is more than just a show for tourists. It's part of a fight to keep his people's ancient language alive in a world of mobile phones and email. The relevance that I see whistling as having today is as a linguistic study and as a means of communication which we mustn't lose. When we don't have a mobile phone, we can use this language to communicate. There are 4,000 whistle words that differ in tone, rhythm and speed. It's a form of communication that dates back to before the Spanish conquest of the 15th century. Before satellites and roads linked one side of this island with the other, it would have been an ideal way of passing on a message. The landscape of this island makes it obvious why the whistling language was created. It's incredibly mountainous and it gets really, really windy. So if I wanted to get a message to my neighbour who might be a bit further down the valley, I'd have to walk. It would take me a long time to get to them, and because it's so steep, it would probably be quite a dangerous journey. Whistling carries for up to three kilometres. It would have enabled a vital means of communicating. The language is making a comeback thanks to compulsory lessons at school, and now the regional government has lodged an application to have the language protected. Every five years, the people of La Gomera gather for this festival. Over the drums, those in the crowd whistle to find each other. As different generations celebrate what makes this community special, it seems there's little chance the sight and sounds of La Gomera will fade. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, La Gomera, the Canary Islands.